Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jennifer Hardy and you are listening to the Unstoppable Podcast Show, where we hope to give you some nuggets of inspiration and motivation to take away for your day. So today I'm joined with Monica Dilworth Watson. How are you doing, Monica? Really well, thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So tell me a little bit about your business. What is it that you do? Right. So I am a branding and style coach, which basically marries uh, personal styling and branding for entrepreneurs. Uh, So what I do is create um, capsule wardrobes that are really aligned with your soul and your branding so you can stand out on social media confidently and consistently so people know what to expect when they tune into you uh, so you can 10x your income and your impact. Amazing. And you just mentioned the word there. And I'm wondering, maybe there's some people out there because I have only recently learned what this is. <laughs> some, some people, they, they feel the same. And um, what is your capsule wardrobe? What does that actually mean? Right. Yeah, it's a good question. So I'm glad we're going to get to it. Um, so a capsule wardrobe is 25 to 40 pieces of clothing. Um, curated in a specific color palette for a specific season. So uh, if you're familiar just with minimalism in general, it's just, you know, essentially a a minimalist uh, wardrobe and its um, use is, or it's, it's function, it's reason. The reason why it's so cool um, is that it's just very simple to use. It it takes uh, stress away from the daily getting dressed and really um, hones in your style. Amazing. I love that. And I take it then that obviously, well, for lots of people, it can be seasonal, but for you, you can actually take it into your brand if you're an entrepreneur or businesswoman. So you can have it that, say your brand colors are a base, and then you're going to be launching a few different things. You could maybe then pull in different colors that you're going to use for the promotion. Am I getting that right? Exactly. Yes. Um, So in a way that would be really easy to pack, especially if you're traveling or you're maybe um, if you want to have like a particularly uh, branded presence for an event or something like that as well. I love it. Excellent. And how much fun would that be? So tell me a little bit about your process then. What is the process that you go through with a client when you're working with them? Right. So um, basically I have, I have two pillars of, of values that are super important um, uh, to me and my clients. So that's um, self-expression and self-care and self-love. So it's kind of like the inward and the outward. Um, So the process that we go through is both identifying your style, what makes you feel just beautiful and great in your skin um, uh, so that you can just really show up consistently. So what makes you feel good? So what is your style? What um, colors do you just naturally gravitate towards? What fits your um, you know, unique body shape best? So going through all of that, um, plus pulling in uh, your, your brand. So what is your brand aesthetic? Um, what is your profession? You know, what are you, uh, promoting? What are you marketing? Uh, what do you stand for? What is your mission? So getting really clear on those two things, um, using color in a way that really evokes emotion, both in yourself and in your potential clients and your current clients. Um, and just really, uh, going through exactly what you need, just, you know, like how many tops do you need? Um, how many pants, uh, how many dresses, what, what is that going to look like and finding items, um, or I find items for my clients so that they don't have to spend all that time, you know, surfing either, you know, the mall or going online and spending all that time trying to find things. Yeah. Amazing. And tell, tell me a little bit about why is, why do you think it's so important to have this part? Um, nailed down when it comes to for for me for example being an online marketer um, and using very much the social media space in order to to sell my programs to sell my products my services why do you feel it's really important for that part so that the fashion um, and the design elements to come in come into that right so uh, from definitely from the marketing standpoint um, you know we're always hearing about no like and trust right um, you want your audience to know you so that they get to, you know, know your story and then they, through your story, they get to like you and then they begin to trust you and you can, you can make a sale. Um, 
But I think what's missing from that equation is the first touch. So even before people know you, right? Um, You know, when they first see you maybe on social media or they see you in a collaboration or in an event or, you know, whatever that looks like, when they first see you, you want them to be captured and you want them to be curious, right? So before they can know you, they have to be curious. They have to be magnetized. So um, the reason why I think your style matters so much, you know, especially in the online space even, is um, to really just up your magnetism, um, make you stand out as the unique, amazing individual you are. Uh, You're in this platform um, because you're amazing uh, and you're showing your light in so many unique ways. And um, so to really have uh, a style that is unique to you um, and it just pops, especially on the screen, is really super important. Yeah, definitely. So tell me a little bit about your journey to this as well. What, what have you um, done in the past uh, and, and why change into what you're doing now? Because I can take it, you've not done this forever, have you? Right, yeah, I, I've gone through a lot of uh, shifts. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've been creating a capsule wardrobes for about 10 years. Yeah. Um, and my personal story is, uh, I grew up in a really uh, toxic family environment. Um, and, <laughs> uh, the simplicity of minimalism really attracted me. So I was a ninth grader <laughs> 10 years ago. I was 14 years old. Um, I was taking care of my little siblings. Um, I have siblings adopted from all over the world. And at the time my mother was very ill and, I was basically like the mother to my siblings. Um, And through this place, I was very anxious and depressed. Um, I was basically living in a place that was very dark. And so I wanted to be able to really just feel like myself and feel like I had a part of my life that I had like control over. (laughs) So I got into minimalism. I looked up capsule wardrobes. If you ever looked them up on Pinterest, um, they tend to be very minimal in style, not just in number. So kind of like a lot of like black and white, um, maybe kind of cookie cutter, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of splash of color, maybe some stripe, but there's not a lot of variety um, or individuality. So uh, there aren't a lot of resources out there for women looking to create the minimal style or the, um, the minimal capsule wardrobe without losing their sense of style. So I started making those resources and uh, I started what I do now with a course, which is uh, build your boho capsule wardrobe. And it has all of the resources, um, all of the, you know, seasonal templates for, you know, what you need for every season, all of that kind of stuff. It has it in there that I've been using for years. Um, but what I'm doing now, as far as the styling and the branding is concerned, um, is a bit of a shift um, from that because it's obviously more one-on-one work. And I got into that because people were asking. They were asking for more uh, customized support. Um, and I found that the people that had the most interest and also the best results with working on me one-on-one were entrepreneurs because they were looking to really step into their brand, you know, cause you are your brand. Right. And they'd up leveled so much um, that they felt like what they were wearing just no longer reflected who they were. And so through that, um, I, uh, developed the service that I'm providing now, which is creating the, you know, the capsule wardrobe, but that really aligned with your brand and your personality and soul. I love it. I love it. And I love it that it's called, um, your, your boho wardrobe. That's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so talk to me about what your plans are then going forward. What is it that you are looking to do just like in the next few years, for example, what are some of your missions, your goals? Right. So definitely, um, as far as everyone that comes in contact with me, I, I want them to feel, first of all, beautiful and valued. <laughs> um, but also, you know, realize that if you ever, if anyone ever tells you like, you can't do something, you can't wear something, you can't do something and wear that thing at the same time. Um, I wasn't allowed to wear jeans growing up. Like I wasn't allowed to wear a lot of things. We had a really strict dress code. That's another reason why I'm super like passionate about this. Um, but if 
anyone ever tells you like you can't do something or wear something, um, <laughs> look at why they are telling you that. And if you ever tell yourself something limiting like that, um, you know, ask, you know, where is it coming? Why? You're right. Like, why do I think that? Um, I actually lost my train of thought. I don't know. I don't, what was your question again? <laughs> Well, I was asking, um, what was I asking about? I was asking about, I can't even remember. Oh my gosh. I think it was something about um, impact and what oh, you want to do yeah, moving forward, was, right? Was about, I was asking you what some of your missions were going forward. What were some of the things that you really wanted to do? That was what I was Right. <laughs> Love it. Okay. I got really carried away. Um, so, well, yes. Yeah, so I did answer the question. Cool. Um, <laughs> um, I really want to do um, a lot of more in-person events too and um, retreats moving forward, uh, both hosting and, and you know, co-creating and um, doing speaking events and stuff like that too. So that's definitely something I'm really passionate about and excited to do. Um, that's coming up for me as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it how you start on something in this show and then you just end up being like, right, this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, that happens all the time. You just get too into it. Or, well, too, too into it in a really good way, though. Um, no, what you were saying before, like, I really agree with, though. I, I find myself saying, you, you're too old to wear that. Or mm. you're obviously, since I've had three babies, I've obviously changed shape. Um, mm. And I'll find myself saying, you know, I can't wear that because, um, you know, I'm a little bit heavier than what I used to be. And it's ridiculous. Like, I actually yeah. have to stop myself and say, what the hell are you talking about? You know, mm. it's like, why am, I, why am I thinking like this? And it always does come back to me thinking about things that I've read in magazines. Me yeah. listening to other people's opinions on what people should and should not wear when they're at a certain age or... It's, it's incredible, isn't it? And then I actually end up putting the thing on anyway because I just, I'm thinking, no, stop being stupid. Let's just do it. <laughs> there you go, girl. That's awesome. <laughs> true. You always have that little moment where you stop and go, oh my goodness, is this too much? Is this this? Yeah. It's ridiculous. We, we have to stop it. We have to be kinder to ourselves. Right. Yeah. I actually had a client the other day tell me that she had this hat she really loves. It's like this yeah. straw floppy hat. Very cute. And she said that she felt almost naked while wearing it. Like she felt uncomfortable going out in public in it, even though it's, it's not even that, you know, a dramatic of a piece. Right. But it was because it felt so authentic to her and it felt so just good that it felt like a costume. Yeah. And I thought that was really interesting, you know, that it basically, you know, especially if you're not used to like living out your style and just being like wearing what feels authentic to you it's going to feel like a costume. So it's like you just treat every day like Halloween, you know? <laughs> I love it. It's a brilliant concept. <laughs> um, so where can we find you? Sorry, Monica, on the online space. And um, what, what are some of your links? And where can we find out more information about working with you? Right. So um, if you want to visit my website, it's got all of that uh, information on there. That's my name, Monica Dilworth Watson.com. I'm also... Uh, Monica Dilworth Watson on Instagram. Um, and I have a Facebook group as well, where I do a lot of really high value trainings about, um, you know, very like specific topics, like, you know, uh, like colors, you know, how to choose them, you know, what they evoke in your clients and your audience, um, uh, what pieces you may need. And I also do like really fun, like behind the scenes, like this is what my capsule wardrobe looks like for this season, stuff like that too. Um, <laughs> Oh. oh, the Facebook group is uh, Boho Capsule Wardrobes for Soul Printers. <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. It's been brilliant to speak to you. Um, oh, thank you. And I definitely, I, I love my brand. And when I'm wearing my brand colors, I feel so much more powerful. So mm -hmm. there is a lot in this. And hopefully for the businesswoman um, or any woman that's out there actually finding this kind of capsule wardrobe, the things that make you feel incredible. Mm -hmm. um, but simplifying the process so that it's a case of you wake up in the morning, you've got your power suit on, you're ready to rock. Uh, it's a brilliant, brilliant concept. So it's, it's powerful. Thank you so much for joining me. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me, Jen.
Excellent. So thank you so much for everyone that's out there listening today as well. If you want to find out more about Monica, you can just scroll down and find all of her links below. And of course, if you want to find out about Unstoppable and me, Jennifer Hardy, then you can also pop the links below Monica's and all of the information is there. Thank you so much for listening again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So much love to all of you. I appreciate you for listening. Please keep sharing away as well. It's so important to us. And I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.